Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday morning and I'm here with Sharon. Hi babe. We're at her favorite garden nursery here in Marysville, Sunnyside. This is where she gets her goods. <laughs> she found a new bed. Hmm, okay. A bath. <laughs> oh bath, sorry. Bed. And then we can put like wood around it and light it. You can have like a little hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub, baby. For the Vera. Killing time looking for some plants to add to her garden. Oh no. That right there is a seahawk head. That's the tribal seahawk head too. That is cool. Oh, I'm gonna put it in the shade. Bird bats. She wants to add to the front garden. And oh, this place is huge. So anyway, we're here. We're killing some time because we're needing to go to the Filipino store, but they're closed for another hour. Just enjoying the, the weather. Beautiful. Beautiful out here. Spending time. Oh, those are those are nice. Line them up in the front. Sunday morning and I'm fully rested from our hike yesterday. We went to EB's Landing over in in Whidbey. Nice trail. It's easy um, except for some treacherous parts because you're walking along a narrow trail along a hillside. It's very steep but it was fun. Anthony made it. It was like 5.1 round trip. And you're walking along the along the water. It was beautiful. It was fun. So it was a successful um, trip for Sharon. She got her potting soil. Two soils and um, three plants. And I got to learn a little bit more about the plants that I actually already have at home. So now I got my research done and I know what to do with the plants to revive them. And I pretty much have a green thumb. <laughs> so uh yeah it'll be fun trying to revive those and uh we'll keep you posted on my plants now they're gonna grow yeah i hope so <laughs> she has a green thumb guys trust me so, so now we're on third ave downtown marysville these are nice old vintage shops that right there used to be sharon's um hot yoga joint where she used to do hot yoga, then they turn it into a uh, CrossFit. This place is cool, all vintage, vintage truck driving by. They have a Dutch bakery. So we like coming down here every so often, just to look at the antiques, because Sharon likes to go antiquing, so. She likes to turn some antiques into her own designs. Oh, look at these old, old school student desks. Sit like this. Ah. There you go. Old school desk. And then you got a chair in the front of it. But yeah, we're just enjoying our day. It's a lazy Sunday. So we just got our Dutch Brothers coffee. 
Me and Sharon. What was it again? This is her drink, but. This is a tall triple shot espresso on ice with a splash of heavy cream. My best friend got me hooked on it. I never used to like iced coffee. Then I just got like not wanting any sweets. And so this is perfect. It's got tints of sweetness, but you can still taste the espresso, which I want to taste espresso. And feel it. <laughs> and it's my first time having it. It's good. <sighs> Approved. And now we stopped off at the Filipino store. Because Sharon's making some kare kare, which is oxtail soup with peanut butter. Filipino, you know what it is. Good morning. <laughs> Look at this. Ampalaya. Uh, in, in English, it's uh, buttermilk. But these are so small. Really? Look like cucumbers. Then they got. They have these tomatoes from the Philippines. So small, look like little baby apples. And papayas. Ooh, that'd be good in some canola. So Sharon is also, so she's making kare kare, which is like oxtail soup with peanut butter. And then also she's gonna make spaghetti for, for us because she's working Monday and Tuesday. So that me and Anthony won't have anything to worry about for lunch or dinner for the next two days. So, I love her. That's my wife, I love her. So I just got done helping Sharon um, vlog cooking with Tina and she made quite a few things today she made what did you make today babe? I made like a salsa and then I made spaghetti sauce for spaghetti for the week so I don't have to cook and most important for dinner tonight it's hot here but in the Philippines they eat it it's hot there all the time it's hotter there <laughs> so I made kare kare so that's for, what's in the pot right now so for those of you that don't know what it is oxtail soup with peanut butter they call it peanut butter soup and it has that's bok choy on top it has long beans it has eggplant eggplant and art um banana banana, heart. banana hearts and just it's just goodness and you eat it with rice and fermented shrimp beans. oh alamang bugo -ong. Which is, like she said, fermented uh, shrimp paste. Little, little, little tiny shrimp. Um, and it comes in two colors. Um, they have a brown one, which is sweeter, right? Yeah. And then they, which is this yes. one. What's it? Kamayan. That's the Kam brand of it. Yeah. But it's basically sauteed shrimp paste. This is um, the darker color one. If you're not familiar with the smells and stuff of this, you, it stinks. You might not like the, but the smell. For me, we're so used to it. I, I love the smell of it. But this is sweeter than the regular pinkish one. Very bright, like neon pink. Yeah, this one's a lot. I like this one it's better. Sweeter. Do we have the... Oh, here one. it is. If you can see, it's really pink. So compared to this... Day and night. And there's other type of fermented shrimp stuff from different provincial areas in the Philippines. And you gotta remember, there's like 7,000 islands in the Philippines, and I can't even imagine how many dialects we've got going back. So yeah, Sharon was busy cook, doing her cooking with Tita vlogs. Some of you that aren't familiar with that might think, oxtail or peanut butter? Y'all don't know what you're missing. Like they say, at least try it once. If you don't like it, you don't like it, cool. If you, if you like it or you love it, even better.